The following program contains scenes of violence and coarse language, which will undoubtedly be considered filth by anyone with a shred of human decency. Viewer discretion is advised. And now, with all the news that's notably newsworthy, the likes of which you're unlikely to see on any other less notably newsworthy newscast, the 6 o'clock news in brief, with our very own notably newsworthy news anchor, Nathan K. Goodfellow. Good evening. Today's show, we will try to expose to you some of the hype and myths surrounding rock music. We will tell you the real story behind the so-called classic albums that have turned many an undeserving rock musician into a demigod. Ah, yes, and this is one of my favorite cities. I can't wait to see what they're wearing here. The following employment opportunities are brought to you courtesy of Bruno's Once Around the Block Getaway Holiday Tours, where a newly reconditioned fleet of safety-inspected four-door air-conditioned, environmentally friendly, efficient, propane, guzzling, smoke-free limos promise to take you everywhere with going in nothing less than the time it takes to pay up front. Change counters. The Bank of Surrey urgently requires skilled counters to audit three and a half tons of loose coinage. Hello, and welcome to Gallant. I'm Arthur Gallant, and with me this evening is Dr. Simon Fleshlong, a media consultant from Goose Bay. On this very spot in 1888, Okay, the next trick we're going to do is called the trick of the traveling aces. And as you can see, I've taken the four aces and separated them from the deck, and we have a completely normal deck of cards here. Can you see those? Camera shot? Hi, I'm Mark of Mark Balloon World. We just opened up and now we're going out of business. Half price on everything. Come on down. Get yourself a balloon. Half price. Even quarter price. We've got everything. We got seven balloons. We've got dolls. We got faces. We got we got customers. Come on down. It's only two more days to go. Do it. Oh, the soul is rational and immortal. My legs! I can't feel my legs! I mean, this is the band that started it all. If you find the youth of today unreasonable or rebellious, you can thank these four clowns. I mean, after listening to this album, one finds it kind of puzzling as to why it's so highly regarded. I mean, there's certainly nothing magical about this record. In fact, it's sickening. I mean, the mystery to me is, where are the quality songs? Which shapes the view of contemporary post-industrial society? We find the last, perhaps free, artistic expression available. In Vancouver, we pride ourselves on living in a clean and healthy environment. Tourists who visit the city often remark that our pristine air, water, mountains, and forests all contribute to making their visit a more memorable one. But, as we've seen on previous news reports, that image is quickly changing. It's true that there are more Canada geese in our city than ever before. One would think that would explain the higher incidence of innocent outdoor enthusiasts being fouled upon. But according to a recent, if you'll pardon the expression, leak study from the Fair to Foul Friends Association, not only are there more geese, they're bigger, stronger, fly faster, and foul more often with a higher degree of accuracy. These aren't simple accidents, suggests the study, but deliberate acts with the number of visiting Americans fouled upon far exceeding that of native Canadians. This may explain why so many of our friends from south of the border can be seen wearing full rain gear with umbrellas on even the most pleasant of days. Whether all this will adversely affect the tourist industry in the long run remains to be seen. Analysts are optimistic it won't and have dubbed the phenomenon NFTF, standing for Nominal Free Trade Fallout. Like caged rats defecate on the wires that hold them, we find a modern urban human rat defecating with enamel on the wires that hold him. On this spot in 1888 is where our fair city's history. Each vista of urban society. Uh, 
the idea of a correlation between a burger and a bun and Marilyn Monroe naked shows a definite lack of masculine direction. Mm -hmm. and I, I have to disagree with that. I'm afraid. Oh, evidently, it's directed at you. Oh, well, yeah, but I, I don't think that you're quite online with what the topic well, is about. Of course. I think the topic is hamburgers and condiments. No, not quite. It, it is hamburgers and perhaps maybe condoms. It Lot number 52, Little Lisa. You're positive. This is the spot. I get a little nervous around people, that's all. When the night calls out for reckless adventure, when she's waiting for someone, and that someone is you, when it's time to head out and take higher ground. When you've a run of luck that just won't quit. When you've a thirst for a taste beyond compromise. When the down beats a magnet that summons the feet. When the world is an oyster, you must swallow whole. Nothing to lose and upping the ante. When there's no words to say what you'd rather not hear. When all's done is done and you do it again. Heaves. Dry ale. The brew that makes room for more. A social vomit, if you would. And we find the scribblings of the tortured little people. Uh, you know, it's, it's mindless pieces of drivel like this that lead our youth into flies of a just depraved lunacy. Called the trick of the traveling aces. Oops. Moving right along here to one of their bedfellows, the Rolling Stones and their album Sucking Me in the 70s. This is an aptly titled album. Not only did they suck in their phones in the 70s, but they sucked them in in the 60s. They continue to suck them in in the 80s, and I'm sure they will continue to suck them in in the years to come. They should have just called themselves the Sucking Stones. <laughs> Surrey Council has decided enough is enough. With the highest incidence in the area of vehicles running red lights, the council unanimously passed a bill that would see all traffic lights left permanently green. When asked to clarify the new law, Mayor George, foot to the floor, Wilkinson responded, we're not saying for people to speed through without looking both ways, that would be irresponsible. And if two vehicles reach the intersection at the same time, obviously the bigger 4x4 goes first. Down through the centuries, man has sought his mind. Barnacles are an organism that nobody thinks about much, except sailors who worry about the destruction caused to the hulls of their ships. On this location in 1888 is where the history of our fair city... What now? Trucks, 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 by the truckload! PC Play Stadium's a place to place your pets on who's gonna bite the big one! We're gonna blow the roof right off the place! And we got hundreds of trucks! Trucks, we got thousands of trucks! Hell, we got 10,000 trucks! Christ, we had more trucks than we could count once we had 10 trucks! Count on it! And what kind of trucks we got? We got big trucks! We got ugly trucks! We got dumb f with big trucks! And we got monster trucks! Wolf man trucks! Vampire trucks! And invisible man trucks! And we got Bigfoot! We got big toes! We we got big toenails! We got big black and blue toenails on the drivers of Jehovah! We got daredevil drivers, devil mishra drivers, student drivers, sacrificial virgin drivers, and we got two sheets short of Ku Klux Klan drivers! And just when you thought we got it all, we got you more! We got the wild man! Wild man weaver! PC for brains weaver! Wall me over and do it again weaver! Hell, what the cash and just give me a trophy weaver! And speaking of trophies, the first 70 cars to PC plays will let park in the field, and for each and every vehicle but can't be thrown away. We don't want a 70 score plus a high quality commemorative statue with much more than any old scrap heap of mango metal. But even that's not all we got. We got your hot dogs, got your cold beer, got your clouds, got your brass bands, got your naked cheerleaders, got your kamikaze parachutists, got your flat on the bad cake mask on. Hell, we got free sticks and dynamite for the first 50 ticket holders. Oh, it's mean, it's cruel, it's vicious, and it's all for the ugly fun of busted eardrums and exhaust. That's trucks, 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 for the truck load. Okay. And develop them into sand so that one day perhaps a couple of hundred thousand years from now we'll have a nice sandy beach here and that's important 
Don't you want to go to the beach? Of course you do, but nobody wants to walk around on sharp rocks. And for that to happen, we have to have barnacles.